It was a bad night for the league. Matteo Salvini, formerly the darling of the Italian right, was outflanked by Giorgio Meloni. Lots of voters switched to Brothers of Italy, including in the league's heartlands of the regions of Lombardy and Veneto, leaving the league with a single-digit share of the vote nationally. This is something that could even create imbalance in a right-wing coalition government, with Salvini not used to playing second fiddle to Giorgio Meloni. Turnout dropped to a record low of 64%, 10% lower than in 2018. And many young people didn't vote after feeling disillusioned by divisions on the left and right-wing parties taking a hard line on immigration, the rights of women and LGBTQ people. Others felt disappointed by the Democratic Party, whose campaign focused on attacking Miloni and the right. Uninspiring terms in government from populist parties such as the League and the Five Star Movement would have also contributed to apathy from working class voters. Infighting within Italy's left and disagreements with anti-establishment Five Star meant a coalition with a strong chance of winning was never on the cards. The leader of the Democratic Party, Enrico Letta, has already said in the aftermath that he will not stand again for re-election of his party's leadership. The left will have to reunite in opposition to be able to compete again in the future with the right wing. In her first statement after the polls closed, Giorgia Meloni said she could reunite Italy. That could be difficult with such clear divisions between opposing politics throughout this electoral campaign. When speaking to international media, she's positioned herself on the centre-right, when many would call her and her party's politics far-right. She will have to convince Italians that didn't vote for her party that she can be a more moderate voice on both the domestic and international stages.